Art in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is one of the vibrant hubs of economic activities and has grown to stand on the global stage of art and culture since the millennium. It has established itself as a major art hub in Asia with the opening of Art Basel in 2013. The 2023 Art Basel featured 177 galleries from 32 countries and territories, plus all-site public art at the Pacific Place and film screenings. The latest Art Basel is opening at the end of March 2024, with venues across Central and the Exhibition Center. The city also plays a significant role in the Asian art market. The Sotheby Auction Spring Sales in 2022 reached 496 million US dollars, and the Christie's Hong Kong Auction in 2023 reached a sale of 384 million US dollars. Furthermore, Hong Kong is not just a commercial art center. M Plus and the Palace Museum are cultural public spaces where a large number of tourists and locals visit every month. Informal project spaces are scattered across the city and constantly held private exhibitions, encouraging local artists to create, establish themselves, and communicate with the rest of the society. Art and Cultural District Art and cultural infrastructure is part of the central focus of Next Step City development as it benefits multiple aspects, from physical to spiritual realms. The art market has seen a trend in expanding into new territories, intersecting fashion, art, and architecture as collectibles. As a result, my thesis will deliver an art-based mixed-use district retrofitting master plan as a new model for sustainable operation and design that is duplicable in similar ways. Responding to the Design District Hong Kong initiative, I will curate a series of open-air design district galleries, expanding the artscape from Wan Chai District to the central and western district of Hong Kong Island. I will also challenge the existing mainstream art and design district composition and operation mechanism in parallel to implementing the designs of a cultural hub. The global scale. After evaluating the well-developed and most visited art and design districts in the world, I selected seven cases to compare their composition, accessibilities, and programs in depth. These cases cover different models of operation and design strategies. From largest to smallest in area, they are the government-initiated and developer-commissioned transformation project, King's Cross Station in London, the city government-led landfill master plan of West Kowloon Cultural District in Hong Kong, old factories utilized by artists and formally transformed by the city government into 798 Art District in Beijing, private Alsaker Foundation-funded Alsaker Avenue in Dubai, the real estate development Miami Design District in Florida, the municipal project Museum Quartier in Vienna, and the purposely built Art District by developer in Greenwich Peninsula, London. Each of these case studies has its advantage and shortcomings, which is presented in the benchmark analysis video. Nevertheless, they all prove that an overarching control would maximize the profit and a pleasant experience. Extracting from the benchmark, a new model will reclaim an innovative infrastructure system for Hong Kong Island, focusing on retrofitting the existing dense residential cityscape into art and cultural spaces, while proposing a detailed operation model from the beginning of planning to design and after. The regional scale. Hong Kong receives an average of 55 million visitors per year before the pandemic, and this number dropped to 34 million in 2023. On the one hand, 6 out of 10 visitors belong to the age group above 14 years old. Meanwhile, 26 to 35 years old and 46 to 55 years old visitors are projected to push sales in the Hong Kong tourist market. Youngsters are said to prefer experience over luxury to create memories. On the other hand, the peak of tourism starts in March when the art season in Hong Kong begins. Shanghai and Central has such a strong artistic environment, and the abundant number of exhibitions and events in the galleries and cultural venues can fill one's monthly calendar. This poses a great opportunity in retrofitting a local neighborhood into an art design district that serves both visitors and locals of the Gen Y and Z to consume in the area, for it is more cost-efficient as compared to building a new one. However, the galleries pose themselves as an entry barrier, and people who are not so interested in arts would rather spend time commuting to West Kowloon. Therefore, the new proposal must serve as a civic and cultural infrastructure. The local scale. From M Plus to the Phillips and Palace Museum, the West Kowloon Cultural District poses itself as one of the largest art and cultural hubs in Hong Kong. Unlike the West Kowloon Cultural District, the Shenwan and Central area exhibit a more historical vibe of Hong Kong culture. From Central Market, one could visit Taekun and the PMQ, continuing the journey along the path, finally end up in the Poho area. The Poho area has over 30 unique stores, such as cafes, bookstores, florists, and perfumeries. The area is also famous for its small galleries and institutions, such as the Blue Lotus Gallery, Double Q Gallery, and Liang Yi Museum. Despite the private galleries, the antique street is also an important element. There you can find jade, ivory, and all kinds of other collections. This made up the unique art and cultural vibe of Shenwai and the central area. Art in Hong Kong Island 
With the proposal of an overarching agent in planning and spatial design, there should appear a platform of communication between government and the art community. The design district is a strategy that can benefit multiple stakeholders. It also sheds light on how art is curated in the network and how cultural activities can integrate into the city via architecture. Further aiming to reinforce the energetic and hybrid experience for Gen Y and Z, the district should broadcast a unique Hong Kong vibe while achieving an equilibrium between top-down and self-motivated actions. With my thesis, I provide an imagination, a future for urban planning that allows fertile and controlled growth of art and cultural activities.